It is the 2nd of the 2nd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start on SOT.net. U.S. researchers discovered dead zone much larger than previously thought in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, wouldn't have to do with all that corrects it, would it? Uh, for years now, scientists have been monitoring the development of a massive dead zone off the coast of South Louisiana in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, new research is showing the presence of another underwater area lacking oxygen and life. This time, it's the Chandelure Sound, east of St. Bernard Parish. Gulf waters include some of the richest areas of seafood in the country, and part of the critical habitat includes the, the Chandelure Sound. <clears throat> and this, uh, this general area is a major path for migration of fish, uh, said... Uh, Dr. Lopez of the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation. And, uh, <laughs> the sludge is still down there. There are corrects it's everywhere, and they're blaming it on the, the Mississippi dead zone. Weather forecasters get it all wrong. Western winter is surprisingly dry and warm. Well, there you go, Captain Obvious. Stunning photo shows growing Antarctic ice rift. Uh, it's a pretty dramatic big crack. They're saying it's a, it's a normal break off from the glaciers that is Antarctica. Of course, it comes off the mainland and into the ocean. A uh, 350 square mile hunk is about to break off. And helicopters rescue Europeans stranded by snow. Belgrade, Serbia rescue helicopters evacuated dozens of people from snow block villages in Serbia, Serbia Bosnia and airlifted emergency food and medicine as severe cold spell kept Eastern Europe in its icy grip. And they're saying, yes, many, many people have died. Um, yeah. Alaska Volcano Dome forms alert level raised. This is Mount Cleveland in Alaska. Uh, they're saying she's about ready to pop uh, big enough to affect uh, the air traffic over over the North Pacific, and being as Cleveland's pretty far away from any really habited area, it's no real threat to people, it's just uh, air traffic. U.S. mysterious Cape Cod dolphin beachings continue. Uh, more than 100 dolphins have stranded themselves along Cape Cod's 25-mile coastline in the past three weeks, and the number is growing. And they keep finding more and more dolphins. Severe weather, Serbia 6 die in negative 36 degree freeze, uh, I believe that's Celsius. And the homeless hits hard as death toll from severe cold spell in Eastern Europe hits 58. And, yeah, more uh, dozens freeze to death in, as extreme cold grips Europe. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh... Signs in the sun, rare ringing of fire eclipse to appear over North America. Uh, get out your calendar and make a big explanation point on May 20th here in the United States, everybody. Uh, that's when the annular solar eclipse will turn the sun into a glowing ring of fire. I'm definitely going to be out recording this. Uh, this is the first major solar eclipse visible from the United States in about 18 years, according to NASA. And we've had our share of lunar eclipses in recent years, but solar eclipses happens when the moon passes in front of the sun, of course. And we're not going to get a full one, so there won't be a block out, so we're going to have this big crescent ring of fire. Uh, so it should be pretty, pretty good here in the United States. Powerful energy release emanating from the Earth's core recorded? Question mark. Turkey, the International Geodynamic Monitoring System, part of GNFE, has registered on November 15, 2011, a powerful energy release emanating from the Earth's core. The intense three-dimensional gravity anomaly was almost simultaneously recorded by, by all the uh, and Traptina geophysics stations separated by vast distances from each other in the following cities, Istanbul, Kiev, Baku, Islamabad, um, <clears throat> and others. Uh, in the detailed analysis, the station's record indicates a powerful energy release emitting, emitting from the Earth's core. 
According to the scientists, this fact may herald intensification in geodynamic, geodynamic processes in our planet, and as a result, a higher number of strong earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis. As a GF, GNFE president uh, told uh, Wasco News Agency, uh, earthquake forecasting stations record particular three-dimensional gravitational anomalies that will occur on an average of three to seven days before a strong earthquake. There's something interesting. And of course, 74 killed in Egypt as violence and mayhem ignites frenzy at football game. Insane. They're, they're killing each other over soccer. Uh, Comet Gerald to make its closest approach to Earth in March. So it looks like March is going to be pretty popular. And carp invasion threatens North American fish industry. This has been an ongoing uh, big head and silver carp from China were first seen as a way to produce cheap food. But the floodwaters overwarm the fish and spreading fish throughout the Midwest. And the threat from the species is so grave that authorities could end up spending billions of your tax dollars and physically separating two river basins. And tropical damages, cyclones expected to double in 2100. Who, no, North Korea, here's the gray one. Ready? North Korea warns its citizens, cell phone users will be treated as war criminals. North Korea has warned its citizens against the use of cell phones inside the country, saying anyone talking on mobile phones will be branded war criminals or terrorists and punished accordingly. A media report said North Korea has long relied on a total restriction of information to maintain control over its isolated citizenry, and in this crucial time of transition between ill and un, the state's clamping down on anyone using mobile phones. Insane. And they've got the Cleveland uh, volcano story. We've got a story on the Watchers. Tropical cyclone Iggy weakens before making landfall. Well, this is kind of good news. Uh, Iggy skirted the western coast of Australia, churning the waters of the southeast Indian Ocean. Uh, the storm was first reported as an area of convention, a convection with a weak low-level circulation on January 21st. Uh, by the 24th, the depression is formed into a tropical center, 720 kilometers northwest of Exmouth, moving west at 23 kilometers an hour. Although the storm itself poses no danger, uh, Iggy Cyclone spawned a cluster of thunderstorms over Indonesia, which caused tornadoes and whatnot. Um, so thankfully, it's calming down a little bit. Over to the RSOE. Uh, here comes the cold, big cold... Uh, Hungary, Bulgaria, Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, eastern regions of Russia, Poland, Romania, Serbia, and the Ukraine are all putting out reports on cold wave, along with the Czech Republic, Italy, and then we have, where was that, uh, We've got another oil leak in Brazil, Atlantic Ocean, about 180 miles off the coast of San Paulo State Vessel Platform. Uh, they're saying they're not quite sure how many barrels are leaking, but they did report the leak, and they're out investigating that. This is the second major leak in a week in that oil field, and that's where they're dig drilling deep, deep um, for these huge oil reserves of uh, sweet crude. I uh, got, got an oil pipeline burst in Texas, and a Permain Basin, uh, apparently a big pipe burst and about 1,100 barrels leaked out. They're saying it's, that they can re retrieve, uh, not counting what was soaked into the soil. So you got a big cleanup mess there. Uh, big forest fire in New Zealand and Northland. And um, snowstorm in South Korea is reporting activity. And then, of course, we have the, the nuclear events that happened today. State of California, San Onfre Nuclear Power Plant in San Diego County. Uh, they're saying um, there wasn't any radiation release, but they're not really putting out a lot of information. Uh, they're saying if it got out, it would be dangerous, uh, but everything's under control, folks. Go back to sleep. And uh, more updates on the Illinois Byron nuclear generation station uh, that was blasting out the steam. And they do admit now that there was smoke, but they can't find where the fire was. And uh, they're saying um, there was radiation release, but it's low levels. Um, but they're not saying 
what the levels are and uh, nobody's really testing. <clears throat> or, and then th also I, I caught there that they don't have to place a report for 45 days. So they're going to hold you out 45 days on the release of the radiation at the Byron uh, nuclear power plant. Insane, insane. Over to E&E &E News tonight that the nuclear stuff. Reporters, major new leak at Japan's nuclear plant. Frozen pipe burst in reactor number four. Check, TEPCO is checking other reactors for similar problems. Uh, they're saying the ice is breaking up these pipes. These people have never heard of heat tape. Radioactive iodine-131 detected in Sweden, Norway, and Finland. Most likely a reactor or an isotope source at a hospital. So they're not really sure where this is from. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, NRC begins special investigation into water pump mal malfunction at Illinois nuclear plant. So they're going to start a blue collar investigation or blue ribbon whatever. In Many tubes found damage at San Diego area nuke plant. Unusual, says the NRC. Cause unknown. Radiation could have escaped, and they're still having developing stories on that. Radioactive release is possible at California Nuke Plant now. We can't make a black and white statement that absolutely none escaped. Quote, unquote. Workers unable to enter to check if leaking. Workers turn brown grass into green around Fukushima plant. Apparently these photos were taken back in... Um, April or so, and you got to remember they were spraying the whole place down with chemicals so the radiation wouldn't spread in the wind, but they chose a pretty color green to spray the dead grass around um, the power plant just to make it look like everything's nicey-nice for the cameras. Pipe connection but to reactor number four drops off. 1,000 times more radioactive water leaked than first reported. 1,000 times more radioactive water leaked than first reported. Japan is a huge radioactive tea bag seeping into the Pacific Ocean, one of our major food baskets. And you got to remember the way those currents flow right towards the United States. Up and around. <clears throat> uh, Kyoto leaking water reactor 4 in contact with our fuel in spent fuel tank. May be from cold weather or explosions. Uh, and the NRC spokeswoman for emergency at Illinois Nuclear Plant also works as a belly dancer. Absolutely, there's no threat to the public, she says. And uh, I don't see what her being a belly dancer on the side has anything to do with her job. It's a great way to stay in shape. Good job. Thanks, Victoria. And a uh, nuclear explosion at unit number three would have blown reactor vessels to pieces. Well, duh. TEPCO sends emergency email to journalists, leakage at reactor number four. They assume the water is from the well of the reactor. And um, San Diego area nuke plant shut down after potential leak. No apparent releases to atmosphere. No imminent danger to public, says spokeswoman. And uh, empty reactor number four was actually filled with nuclear fuel. Only a matter of time before meltout. Now they're saying this, uh, remember reactor number four was wide open when all this happened and um, they said it was in cold shutdown because they were refueling it. But uh, here now they got to say the empty reactor, what they said was empty, was actually filled with nuclear fuel. So another MOX fuel and that was a MOX reactor. It is a MOX reactor. Fukushima hit by another 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Uh, that was yesterday. So apparently that's about all I have for you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your uh, comments or your videos below. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for your support.